Morning. All right. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Ala Rasulillah. Let's try this again. For some reason, I don't know. People said the sound wasn't working. So let's see now. Hopefully, maybe it was my headset that was malfunctioning. Um, so I wanted to address this ridiculous um, post by our brother Daniel Hakikaju, who once again. Having lain in the cut, has attempted to pounce on another unsuspecting victim, all for the monetization of his uh, videos. Because I don't know, maybe he doesn't have any other gainful form of employment, uh, and so maybe what I should do. As Daniel's uh, senior is try to challenge him to who is the fittest because you know, alhamdulillah, Imam been doing been putting in some work you know trying to be a fit Imam. You know the social media I have this feeling is like gonna be the death of us. <laughs> it just seems to bring out the worst in people, including myself from time to time. It is really a repugnant thing. But Daniel has demonstrated a consistent and repeated and repugnant attitude of just savaging people. The sad part about it is that sometimes there are things that he points out or goes after that are actually legitimate, but now it's become almost like... Like rabies, where there's no dial. It's just zero or ten, and it always seems to be ten. And so for him to go, and yes, Daniel, we all know who you're talking about, right? You cannot mention Sheikh Joe Bradford, but we all know who you're talking about. Because you referenced the talk that he gave in the subject, and so you can kind of try to pretend... Like you are not making riba and namima, but we all know who you're talking about. And so to go slander a Muslim and a scholar of the integrity and the competence of Sheikh Joe is really despicable and is cowardly. It also reveals that, Daniel, you are not competent yourself perhaps you are unfit for social media and you're even unfit to be deliberating or talking about anything to do with islamic studies if you are so ignorant as to accuse sheikh joe of fabricating something in the religion which is why i sent you the fatwa the fatwa of sheikh bin baz rahimahullah from amongst the Salafiyya, there are opinions from the Hanabila, from the followers of Ahmed ibn Hanbal, rahimahullah, and his madhab. I sent you an opinion from the Madikiya. Clearly, this is a topic, right? The topic of polygyny and the ability for a woman to have a so called prenuptial agreement. Uh, I have a feeling that in, uh, in having a prenuptial agreement uh, in that she does not want to, in her marriage, participate in a polygynous marriage. Um, there's several things that are being conflated here. One, at no point in the talk that Sheikh Joe ever gave, did he ever advocate, A, that polygyny is bad, B, that this is something you ought to do, right? Uh, or, or C, that he tried to say that essentially... Polygyny has been abrogated in Islam. He did none of these. He merely pointed out that this is indeed an option. And he's informing women that this is something that they can potentially uh, avail themselves of in the marriage process. And so this is merely providing a clarification of whether or not this is, you know, 
Ja'iz aw ghayru ja'iz. Yajuz aw la yajuz. Is it something you can do or something you cannot do? At no point is he telling people, do this, don't do this, polygyny is good or bad. It is uh, abrogated, not abrogated. So it's clear that you are a person that did not do his own due diligence before opening his mouth on this topic and then slandering somebody and then painting in the broadest strokes possible and labeling a person unfit. I mean, Sheikh Joe has been teaching, has been teaching and working in the Muslim community and bring, bringing benefit to the Muslims. Probably pretty close before you were born and while you were probably still crapping in your mom's diapers. This is ridiculous. And, uh, yes, I, you know, you know, people, well, can't Sheikh Joe defend him? I'm sure he can, and he probably won't even bother, alhamdulillah. But I personally find this, um, I find this really disturbing because beyond Daniel, let's be honest, part of the reason why Daniel not only does it, not only as a suburb, but as a kafiyah, like not only, you know, not only how, but why does he do it? Because of an audience. Let's be. Let's admit, there are far too many of us out there that love controversy, are addicted to controversy, and so when we see the clickbait title, when we see the controversial topic of somebody attacking somebody our response is number one not to shut that person down and reproach them for their uh behavior but we keep clicking on it and we share it and we like it and we repost it and all of those other things and so that is why it gains traction not only in our social media spaces but it gains traction in our minds and our hearts because we like that kind of thing we like controversy I'm sure Sheikh Joe knew <laughs> that uh, ain't no way you can win, right? If you mention the P word, if you mention polygyny, and if you say, well, polygyny, if you say polygyny, this is part of Islam, you're going you're gonna to catch some fire, you know, from one group. And if you say what you said, well, there's also all these other considerations, right? Uh... <laughs> You're going to catch some fire from that too. And so there's no, I'm sure he knew what he was putting and stepping into. But what, what Daniel did is what we call, not just jahl, but jahl murakab, right? Just as there is compounded interest, there is compounded ignorance. And Daniel, you have compounded the ignorance of attacking somebody and labeling them unfit, unjustifiably. You have compounded that through your own ignorance of the topic and the subject. And so, I don't know what happened to you, man. You know, when I first moved here to SoCal, I have the video. You came to my house for Eid with your family. Uh, you invited myself and my wife at the time to your house, and we had dinner. We went out and had breakfast a couple times, and we were talking about, you know, Paul Firebrand and you know, scientific method and scientism and atheism. Like, we, we had really interesting conversations, and you actually seemed like a pretty cool young guy who was, you know, very serious about his Islam. And then something happened, man. I don't know what happened to you. And I know that you don't like the dig that most people take at you about the death of your sister. But it definitely seems that something internally has gone on that has caused you to change and to become not just angry, because, hey, man, I see things too, you know. Uh, I see things too that, that anger me in the community, that bother me, that are against the Book of Allah, that are against the Sunnah, indeed. But you got to do your due diligence, man. And attacking somebody like Sheikh Joe like that, that's just not cool, man. And I'm not even saying, I'm not even pulling the, oh, you should have counseled him privately. No. He made the, 
He made the videos and the statements public. I personally don't have any problem with you saying something publicly for what she said publicly. My issue is, one, calling him unfit. He's also not an imam. Right? I mean, Joe's not an imam. We would say he's a sheikh, he's a scholar, he's a teacher. I mean, he's not, you know, an imam of a masjid somewhere. So calling him an unfit imam doesn't really apply to him. Calling him unfit is like, my God, man. Well, who is then? Who is fit? You? Not only do you not look physically fit, but your attitude and your actions are questionable in terms of your own fitness. Religiously, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. And so I, I hope this message really does reach you, man. I don't know what happened to you. You seem to be a nice young dude when I met you, and then you flipped. But this ain't the way to do it, man. And yes, I am that dude, if you go after one of my homies, we're gonna strap up. So stop, stop this cowardly nonsense, and hey man, go get a job, dude. I mean, I, we all gotta eat. But clickbait controversy, this ain't it. And you're not helping our community, which already has a substance abuse problem when it comes to the addiction to clickbait controversy social media. So do us all a favor, man. Apologize to Sheikh Joe. Pull the posts. And let's have a conversation a real one about actually what was said. And so I counsel you as I have been counseled and as you have counseled others, ittaqillah. Have some fear of Allah. Have some fear of Allah. Anyway, I'm out here trying to be fit because you never know when somebody about to make a post about you. So I'm going to finish a few laps, inshallah, and get to the rest of my day. Jazakumullah wa khairan. Wa usalli wa salli wa sayyidina Muhammad, sayyidina al-awwaleen wa al-akhireen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum.